Hello Star Wars fans, this is JAR369, welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series, Val from Solo, A Star Wars Story, made by Hasbro. And here she is in her box. So for the packaging wise, it's just the usual standard Black Series packaging, Star Wars The Black Series. You get a nice image of Val, and you get the name... Recommended for ages 4 plus, 20 choking hazard, Hasbro logo. On the side here, she is number 71. On the back here, you get a nice image of the character and a little read up about the character. It says, a no nonsense and uh, constantly, I don't know how you pronounce that word, prickly woman who is who is a crack shot with a blaster rifle. Wafal may be the most even headed and capable member of Tobias. Tobias Beckett's Tobias Beckett's ragtag crew of scoundrels. Does she knew that Tobias was part of the bat part of the um of Dryden Voss members thing, whatever they're called? Or she doesn't know after before she died. I don't know. Probably some answers we may never get. So that's about it for the packaging. Now let's release the black and he fell out of the package. Here we go, fell out of the package. Take a look at the figure here. Let's look at the head scope on here. Come on, focus, focus. There we go. Now the likeness to the actress who played Val, I mean, they did a really great job capturing the looks on her. I mean, it looks exactly like the actress who played her. I mean, the the likeness is really, really nice. Take a look at the um the whole figure here. You can clearly see there's a necklace on her neck here. You get the little goggles here, which are not removable, sadly. Nor you can put it on her, on her head, on her face, her eyes. So you get the snow battle scene. Take a look at the figure. You get the little first scarf right here, and also you get like wires of tubes here. I have no idea what these are for, and I do know what these four are. These on like the little rope that is connected to this, which is like you, that like she slides over there to to the to the train and the battle in the train scene of Solo: The Star Wars Story. And I'm not sure what the and these are. Probably her blasters, maybe or maybe not. I don't know. I forgot what they are. I mean, it's been a long time seeing Solo: A Star Wars Story. In theaters. I mean you get the little white lines on the um on her jacket here. You get like the buckles, all that stuff. Nothing much on the pants, just plain old black. You get a, like well except you get like sculpt sculpted boots right there, of course. On the other side you could I mean on the behind you can see like the little skirt thing right there. Nothing much. I mean, you can see some wrinkles on the boots here. And you can see, like, the texturing a little bit on, on the boots area. Which is not bad. Not bad at all. And, of course, there's pickles in the bottom of the end. Some legal. Blah, 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 blah. So, overall, not bad figure. I mean, it's a not bad looking figure. Articulation-wise, the head does have a ball joint. And there's, like, a little neck movement here. Arms doesn't go fully rotate because it's hindered by the tubes. It does go in and out. Kind of because again hindered by the tubes. There's bend at the elbows. Rotate at the elbows. You might be careful with these things because they might break easily on the tubes. There's like the wrist rotation. And does have the hinge go up and down. There we go. Well, the other hand does have like the hinge left and right. There's like the little waist movement. Legs can kick forward and back, in and out. Upper leg rotation. Been at two points at the knee. Hey, she can easily kick her own behind. 
Nice. <laughs> ankles can kick, can go pivot forward and back, and ankle pivot side to side. Ooh, yeah, ankle pivot. Who doesn't love ankle pivot? For accessory wise, she does come with only one accessory. She does come with the blaster and does fit on her hand very easily. Now, again, be careful with the tubes. Let me do this off camera. There we go. Now you have Val with her blaster to ready to fight. Overall, the figure itself, it's not too bad at all. Not too bad. That's the sculpt and details looks really good. The paint apps look really great. The articulation is, uh, it's just a standard Star Wars The Black Series articulation. But it's a not bad figure, to be honest. I mean, I'm glad we have a, a character for the um, solo part of the Tobias Beckett's team. Now I'm missing Rio and Tobias himself. And I'm pretty are there more any more Star Wars solo figures? I mean I do have the original Han solo, you know, in his you know, in his alf normal outfit. I do have the one in his Mud Trooper, I do have Cura, I do have Child Childish Campino Lando. I do have L337. I do have like, I do have Dryton. Now I'm missing, like, other characters like Rio Turrent and Tobias. So I could complete the solo Star Wars story characters. Yeah. I might uh, hunt down. Oh, right. One of the, the rank, one of the troopers. <laughs> I forgot about that. And also the Walmart exclusive. But, no, no, like the. One more exclusive Black Series Trooper. I mean, it's like the one with holding the rifles. I probably might find that easily or harder since that, that one's hard to find. But overall, the figure itself is decent. I actually like this figure so much. It's not bad. Very well done for your solo shelf. So my rate, I'm going to give her 8 out of 10. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, since with this YouTube policy, you don't rate, you don't like this video, you don't comment on this video, nor you get a notification after you subscribe. <sighs> Curse you, YouTube. Curse you. And of course, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. So that's about it. This is the Star Wars The Black Series Val from Solo, a Star Wars story fi figure made by Hasbro, and this is JR369, thanks for watching.